Tonight in Groton, the town is coming together to help deal with a shocking crime. A vigil was held for four people who were brutally murdered on Friday. WBC's Jim Smith is live in Groton for us with more on this solemn remembrance. Jim? Ken, as you can well imagine, it's been a very tough weekend here in the town of Groton. This is a peaceful community, but now that peace has been shattered. Today, we gather somewhat in shock as the community to grieve a senseless loss. A stunned community gathers on a September Sunday, coming together, struggling to cope with the violent murder of four people in the quiet town of Groton. Four people are dead, two of them elderly, killed by a young man who was known and loved by them. We do not understand this. Friday night, police found the savagely beaten bodies of an elderly man and woman and two middle-aged women at a home on Common Street. 22-year-old Orion Krause is facing murder charges. Police say there is a family relationship involved, and this is not random. A friend of the older couple killed is devastated. Gentle and loved the world, very much loved each other. And even though they were old, they had much to look for. The last murder in Groton was more than 20 years ago. This latest crime is gruesome, but the people of this town say their community will not be defined by the tragedy, although there's a need for healing. To step forward and just sort of be together with your neighbors and, and um, sort of help each other feel all right, even as we don't feel all right. As of right now, the identities of the four victims have not yet been officially released. Orion Kraus is expected to be arraigned tomorrow on four counts of murder. Live in Groton, Jim Smith, WBZ News.